Hey, Chip Brackley here. We're continuing a quick series on how money works and the laws and principles that govern it. If you want to be successful with money, you have to first understand what money is and that it is governed by principles and laws that we need to adhere to. Let me first start by telling you what money is and what money isn't. First, money is a tool. It's not something to become emotional about. A shovel is a tool. How many times do you go outside and yell at your shovel because the hole hasn't been dug yet? Or go inside and yell at your spouse because the shovel got you into credit card debt? The point is the shovel or money is not the problem. It's how we use them that is the problem. So use money as a tool to accomplish your goals and don't let it control your life. Second, money is also a test. If you're prepared for a test, you'll do well. If you're prepared for money when it comes in and you treat it well, it will grow and it won't disappear and it won't be a source of stress. And it's funny, we always seem to get more financial opportunities and more money follows when we have a plan for it in the first place. Let me also tell you what money isn't. Money is not a cure to all of your problems. Ask all those lottery winners who file for bankruptcy within a few years of winning the lottery. How can that even happen? because having more money can actually complicate things and make things worse if you don't know how to use it. If those people had a really good understanding of money and how it works, they probably wouldn't be playing the lottery in the first place. So the first step is understanding that money is a tool to accomplish your goals and it's a test to be prepared for. It's not a cure-all. So in our next video, we'll discuss the principles behind money and how it works.